Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Gary with Thick Skinned RC, and today we are going to unbox and take a look at the insides and waterproof, uh, or further waterproof, the Power HD LW 20MG. It's, I think, the second cheapest um, waterproof Metal Gear servo you can get off of Amazon. I uh, picked it up for 25 bucks, so let's see what we got in the box. Uh, it comes with you know your typical plastic servo arms. Um, I usually just throw these away. The screws are Phillips. I don't like using those. I like to stick with the hex. Um, but all in all, um, feels like a pretty quality piece. Uh, it is a metal housing on there, so it gives a little bit of weight. Um, let's go ahead and open it up here and see what the insides look like. Got the screws off there. Let's open her up and see. Um, usually, when uh, a company's claim it's a waterproof servo, I, I think it just means they put a gasket on the top and the bottom. Um, does look like it's all metal gear. It's got a decent amount of lube on the top. I mean, all in all, it looks like a, a decent quality unit. Um, obviously, uh, quality of the metal depends. Um, can't really tell by looking at it. Uh, the motors, obviously, are another big question. Uh, they all look the same, but quality uh, can definitely vary. Uh, it looks like it does have gaskets on the top, um, help seal up there, and then also down here on the bottom it's got a gasket, so I'm guessing that's why they say it's waterproof there, um, which will be fine for splashing, running through a quick creek or something like that, but I, I wouldn't submerge it without doing some further work, so um, let's go ahead and finish taking this apart and see what she looks like inside. There we go. Um, so there it is, the control board, the motor, and the gears. Um, definitely, like I said, all, all metal gears. It has the gasket on the top and the bottom of the casing, so should definitely help keep it dry. Um, I wouldn't submerge it without taking this next step, though. Um, I usually, on any servo that I plan on getting submerged, I will put a pretty good layer of the conformal coating around um, all of the electronics. Now, this one I know won't be submerged for very long. It is going to go in an Axial Exoterra buggy. So while it will get uh, wet, I, I won't be running this one through the water or anything. I'm going to keep it dry. Um, doing regular maintenance from running through the water on all the rigs is a, a bit uh, bit of a chore. So I like to try and keep some of them dry. But just going around here, um, make sure you cover the entire PCB. You know, whatever color the circuit board is, you want to make sure you cover the whole thing with the conformal coating. Um, it makes sure that you're not going to get any water, any corrosion, anything on there. Um, the gaskets should help keep the water out, but anything that does get in, you don't want it getting on the electronics themselves. So definitely a good idea to take uh, take the electronics out and give them that good coating there. So. Go ahead and see if we can fit everything back in here now. Generally a good idea to let the conformal coating dry for a little while. Like I said, this one I know isn't going to get submerged, so um, mainly just conformal coating just to kind of show you guys um, the process we go through here. Um, that'll go ahead and snug it all back together, and that should help keep the electronics from corroding, but that's not going to help keep any water out or anything along those lines. So. Um, but here's a little close-up of the metal gears, so you can kind of see what we're working with. They put a fair amount of lube on there. Um, you know, nothing I would uh, would worry about uh, running dry real soon, but definitely a maintenance piece. Uh, make sure you check uh, check for dirt and everything in there periodically. One additional step that um, I like to take for waterproofing is to seal up the top. Now, obviously it's a spinning gear up there, so you can't um, you know, do anything too fancy. So what I like to do is just put an extra blob of grease around the top. Uh, this one already has what looked like the green marine grease in it. You wanna try and match what type of grease. If it's a white grease, use the same kind of white grease. But the idea here is to just form a little barrier around the um, seat on the top of that bearing where the uh, casing will sit. That's going to, again, try and help keep additional water out. Um, the bearing is sealed, should do a pretty good job, but having a little extra grease on the top um, will definitely help out. You don't want to overdo it and create a bunch of drag in the casing or anything like that. So um, 
another thing to pay attention for is to not get any grease in the screw hole. So that will definitely make it hard to use Loctite or anything to keep that screw set. So definitely don't want to get any in there. But uh, I'm gonna clean up my fingers here and wipe down the casing a little bit, but it is time to button it all back up. Put the screws back on and make sure it still works. So we'll get this all buttoned up and then I'll get it hooked up to the uh, the rig that it's going to be going in. Um, the rig is still a work in prog progress, so um, have most of the electronics out. Going to start with the default 5.5 volts, um, see how that uh, does, and then after that we'll go ahead and bump it up to 6 volts. So here we go, do a little 5.5 volt test. Not the quickest servo in the world, but um, not the slowest either. I'd say it definitely feels on par, if not faster, than the uh, Tactic uh, TSX45 that comes in a lot of rigs. So um, Went ahead and hooked the ESC up, changed the voltage. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and show you all what 6, uh, six volt looks like. So a touch faster. Um, still not the fastest servo in the world, but for 25 bucks, um, I, I still think it's on par, if not better speed-wise, um, than the TSX45, and it is definitely rated to be stronger. So, um, all in all, uh, until I get a chance to use it, uh, initial impressions on this servo are pretty good. Not the fastest in the world, but 20 kilogram rating, truly all metal gears, and um, waterproof gaskets top and bottom I think for the price it's it's a winner so far I'll put a follow-up here pretty soon so y'all uh, stay tuned we've got uh, plenty more reviews and how-to videos coming up so like and subscribe thank you